Hey guys, Tristan here again from SUVRVing.com, the blog, and SUVRVing, the book, which you can find on Amazon. And in this video, I wanted to show you a really easy way to make an awning uh, for the side of your vehicle, whether that be an SUV, a van, a car, whatever. Um, you don't really need much specialized equipment for this. Uh, you just need the uh, you need to make sure your vehicle has the um, the roof rack rails uh, on top of the vehicle. Uh, this awning is great for keeping the sun off of you on sunny days, and for keeping the rain off of you on uh, on rainy days or even snowy days if you're out if you're out in the snow. Okay, this is the gear you're going to need. I have here a five foot by seven foot tarp on the skinny side of the tarp. I have some paracord tied to each corner. It's about eight feet long. Each piece is about eight feet long. I just tied a loop at each end. You're gonna need a handful of clamps like this. These were about 99 cents each, I believe, at Home Depot. You're gonna want maybe three, four, five of them, depending on the size of your tarp. The bigger it is, the more you'll probably want. You need a hammer, a couple of tent stakes, and then some poles of some sort, two poles of some sort. Um, you could use ski poles, or there are poles specifically made for tarps. One note about tarp size, you probably don't want one too much bigger than this, unless the top of your vehicle is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big, and uh, you'll see why in a minute here. So basically you just take the end of the tarp that doesn't have the, the cord attached to it, and attach it to the top rail here with the clips. So I, I like to fold it over. I'll fold it over the, uh, the rail and clip it on with the clamp. Got all the clips there. So this end, um, I folded the edge of the tarp under a few inches because the tarp is actually a bit too wide. It goes out to about here. So I just folded it over and, and clamped it on. So the tarp's just hanging now and um, I'll use the trekking poles to prop it up. Here's a tarp all set up. I wrapped the cord around the end of each pole a few times and then just staked it out. Did the same thing over on this side. Now obviously if you were Setting this up for uh, sun protection purposes, you'd want to orient your vehicle so that the, the spot of shade is where it's supposed to be, where you want it to be. Um, and if you're doing this for rain purposes, you might want to tie an extra piece of cord from here and uh, stake it out so that um, it kind of, kind of funnels all the water off instead of letting the water pool on top. If you had a really long tarp, I suppose you could attach it to the other side and put it across the vehicle and go over. There are lots of options with this setup. The more of these clamps you have, 
the stronger it'll be. If it's windy, you're gonna want a lot of a lot of clamps on there. And that's it. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions for me. with this setup. The more of these clamps you have, the stronger it'll be. If it's windy, you're gonna want a lot of a lot of clamps on there.